Good morning. I'm going to start with a passage from <clears throat> I Come as a Brother. In those moments of truly get, getting into your being and paying attention to your shadow, you become so human that you love the rest of humanity. You have to be human yourself to love mankind. Otherwise, you stand above it and you cannot love from above. How do you think enlightened ones love? The roots of their power go deeply into the depths of the blue space beneath the planet, and their heads fly with the stars so high that your eyes cannot perceive them. Do you think that they love from above you only? They are being so vast that they hold this entire createdness in one hand. They do not love from above or from a superior stance. They love from their wholeness. And your being is that vast you have just forgotten. You think yourself to be a little person walking on a little planet. This is not so. Your heads are in the stars and your feet drop into deep blue space. That is how vast you are. You don't need to be rescued. You don't need to be saved. You are the rescuer and you are the saved. All you have to do is wake up. And waking up means taking everything behind you that you have tried to hide from the place, from placing it in your vision. Sleepers hide from themselves. The warrior awakens and says, I am ready. I want to know so I can be harmless. I want to be harmless because it is the only way to move in power on this planet. When you are one with humanity and have not placed yourself above it, the tears of compassion will flow and you won't be able to see anything but the one. There is only one. Our bodies have taken that one light and splintered it off into millions of lights. But the sun moving through the prism does not lose its original oneness. And that is what you are. You are willing, when you are willing to face your unfinished business, your heart will break open and you will see that all of you suffer from the same problem. You are afraid because you have misidentified yourselves and think you are small and petty moving through a perilous world to an unknown end. I love, I love the passage in here that says, Waking up means taking everything behind you that you have tried to hide from and placing it in your vision. I occasionally talk with people about waking up. Um, because there is a certain amount of awareness that when you find your peace and you're centered and you spend time each day with yourself and you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, I love you. I love me. And I am part of everyone and they are all a part of me. And we're not ever really truly disconnected. And when you, when you do these things and you start to wake up to the wholeness that surrounds you, your vision is so much more magnified and it's so much more amazing and beautiful. And you know, yes, there's horrible things going on in the earth and there's horrible things going on around us. And I can't help but to think that those horrible things that are happening are to reinforce how important it is to wake up and to be present and to each person encouraged to find their peace and to be mindful and thoughtful and compassionate about all the rest of us. Violence is not the answer. Oh, I know. I I have a temper and I get angry and I'm I'm not violent by any means, but you know, we all have we're living in a human existence for a reason. And it's important not to stifle those emotions, but it's also important to find your peace each day so that you can shine. Cuz when you shine, other people will start to shine and your world will just open up. Your awakeness will be that much more manifest. <laughs> so today's theme is find your peace, but it really is more about in finding your peace, waking up, waking up to who you are as a spiritual being and waking up to the communities in which we live and all those spiritual people that are within it. And we have all different kinds of spiritual people and it's okay. It doesn't take just one. It takes all of us to move us forward. I am certainly not the beginning and end all. There are so many more beautiful people out there that help us. Um, 
And it doesn't matter what ascendancy pattern they are. It doesn't matter what life theme they are. It doesn't matter whether they have past life trauma they're holding on to or family trauma they're holding on to or if they are uh, physically handicapped or mentally handicapped or uh, mental illness or physical illness or chronic illness or black, white, yellow, polka dotted, male, female, trans, pick, pick, I don't care. Those are the physical manifestations in this life. That is not their spirit. The, some of the most beautiful spiritual people I've met have some pretty intense hangups in this physical realm. They have um, body issues or mental issues or, or pick something, but they're beautiful people. And I would not trade them in my life for anything because they bring that facet and that beauty and and that wonder into our life. And yes, in my physical presence, sometimes I get a little irritated and I can't necessarily tolerate being around them all the time. <laughs> and I completely admit that that's my physical manifestation and my irritation. It's all me. It's not them. So I acknowledge it and I work with it and I work on it all of the time. And that's all any of us can do to become better people. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. It's cold. It's not supposed to snow for a week. We're supposed to have really cold weather. Um, but it's going to be sunny and wonderful. Sun and snow. I love sun and snow. It's amazing. It's the most, it's the most amazing combination is sunshine and snow and cold. I love that. I know there are a lot of people that are over winter, but you need all four seasons, people. You need all four seasons. I'm not a really fond of summer. So uh, you need all four seasons to have the world go around and have a world that we live on and, and produce food that we eat and to have healthy, connected lives to our earth. We have to have all the seasons. So don't be so disgruntled with winter or spring or whatever season it is. Um, know that that's part of the seasons we have to have to live on this earth, to be alive, to, to revel in our experience in this physical manifestation. Enjoy it. Find where the lesson is. Find where the joy and the beauty is. Don't just complain about it, right? Okay, so have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow in prayer. Blessed be.